The first type of numerical data that we encounter in data science are interval data. Interval data are a type of numerical data, that is, they represent measured quantities of things. Interval data allow for a degree of difference between two values, that is, we can add or subtract the values in meaningful ways. However, interval scales have an arbitrary zero point on their scale, that is, the point where zero appears on the scale was chosen for convenience not because it represents a true absence of the thing being measured. So, there's no concept of a ratio between two numbers or the ability to multiply or divide two numbers in any meaningful way. For example, imagine a thermometer measuring outdoor temperature. The zero point on a Celsius thermometer represents the temperature where water freezes. This was simply for convenience, though. Zero on this scale does not represent absolute zero heat like it does on the Kelvin scale. The difference between 20 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, which is a 10 degree change, is the same difference in temperature as a change from 40 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, also a 10 degree change. So, we can perform addition and subtraction with this interval scale. However, it doesn't make sense to say that 20 degrees Celsius is half as hot as 40 degrees Celsius, or that 40 degrees Celsius is twice as hot as 20 degrees Celsius. This is because zero degrees Celsius isn't the absence of all heat, but rather was an arbitrarily chosen point on the scale where water freezes. So, it simply doesn't make sense to discuss ratios, multiplication, or division with the Celsius temperature scale or other interval scales. Interval data are a bit more powerful than nominal and ordinal data in terms of mathematical operations, but still not as powerful as ratio data. To learn more, please click the link in the description. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.